Hello and welcome to another chaotic live stream um, with me, Bernard Sophie, David the Parrot Teacher is next to me, the flock are here, of course they're going to start being noisy immediately because that's just part of the fun, that's why you're here, that's what you signed up for. So a very, very warm and noisy welcome to all of you and again, special welcome <laughs> from Charlie to uh, my Patreon backers and YouTube channel members. Didn't want me to do that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, so, Charlie knows that I'm going to be doing a training session with, <laughs> with him and Olive. Just give me a sec. For anyone's birds who are triggered, I'm not getting out of your noisy. In a second, I am going to get Oliver and Charlie out, and we're going to do a little training session immediately. Um, but Charlie, he knows that I normally get him out first thing, and I thought I'll just wait a moment so I can say, do my pleasantries and say hello. And Charlie's like, "How dare you not get me out immediately?" So welcome, welcome everybody coming in again. A special hello, welcome to. Patreon backers and YouTube channel members. I really appreciate everybody being here today and I hope you enjoy the chaos that will follow. Uh, so without any more noise, let's get Charlie and Olive out. We'll just do a little informal training session. They can hang out for a bit um, just as everybody kind of joins us. Um, and as usual, um, if anyone has any questions throughout the live stream, I'm here to answer all of your questions as best I can. So let's you got my little cocktail pillow there. <laughs> We're gonna have Olive and Charlie on there. Come here, troublemakers. Oh, hello, Charlie Bear. He's a very nice boy. He's a very nice... I love you, too. You should bring you a bit closer. There we go. There's the monsters. I'm going to show everybody what we have to... Oh, yeah, can we wave? Good. Yeah, OK, you're in that one, are you? Did you take both? No, you got one. Let's get some smaller sieves. I'm excited on this. So excited for training, my goodness. Can we see? Yeah, nice. You're so smart. You have one tree, Charlie Bear, haven't you? Can you shake? Nice. Can you shake? Nice. <laughs> you are such a greedy little bird, aren't you? Can you go other way? Nice. Can you go other way? Nice. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Good boy. Enjoy the, the soundtrack by Kipling, by the way. <laughs> yeah, go Charlie. Isn't he naughty? And Louie. Louie. Noisy Louie. How dare I do training with somebody other than Louie? I actually did a training session with Louie and Kip before this in the hopes that that would calm him down. If anything, it's rolled him up even more. <laughs> Can we go spin? Good. Yeah, I know. We're so excited. Can we go? Can we dance? Ready? What? <laughs> oh, no. Come here. Charlie doesn't know how to dance yet. So can we go one and two and three and four. Good girl. Good job. I hope you saw that. I don't know if my arms are in the way or not. Did we see it? Does David know? <laughs> Spin. Oh, it's all kicking off. Ready? One and two. Um, <laughs> it's chaos. Welcome to my training skills <laughs> camp where nothing goes right. Right, let's do a little step up. Can you step up? Good job. Can you step up? Good job. Yeah. And then can we go one and two and three? <laughs> sure. Right, can we do some dancing, please? One and two, three and four. Good job. Nice work. I think we'll leave it there because we're very excited. But I hope you enjoyed the silly training session. Uh, sure. Charlie's, very, Charlie's very like excited. really revved up. Yeah, I love you. Can you say hello to everybody? Good job. Can we say hi, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us. 
<laughs> is that fun? Is that good fun? I want to give a shout out to Pioneer Tales, who just did a live stream just now. They're very kind to us, so make sure you go and subscribe to Pioneer Tales if you haven't already, because content is excellent, and we like to support fellow channels. Um, but yes, welcome, welcome. <laughs> There's a few different bits and bobs to talk about today, <laughs> if we can handle the crazy, crazy birdies. Do you want to go and say hello to everybody? Come here, then. Can you say hello? No, we don't have to show you my, my Okay, floor. I'll show you what I have to offer. <laughs> Kissing, kissing the lamb. <laughs> kissing the lamb. Can you say hello? Can you say love you? Say I love. Chunky bird. Birdie bird. Baby bird. Charlie boy. Baby. <laughs> Good boy. I can't get your snacks. I've got too many birds. I can't get you any snacks. I feel like there's actually no structure right now. It, <laughs> it will be in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, Louis is doing his trademark. Oh. Naughtiness. Whoa, Charlie, come here. Let's not end the live stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, David is here. I don't know if he wants to be on camera right now. Maybe later when we get into like the Q&A. But as I said, if you've got any questions today, drop them. I've got a few things to talk about. What do you want to do? Say hello, love you. It's me, sweet Olive. Can you say hello? Good job. Charlie's just trying to steal all of the treats. That's lost to the right one. That's lost to the left. Yeah, it's all, the wrong it's all confusing. Should we see if you two would like to do some foraging? It's like, yeah, I know. So we can actually talk to everybody. Big kisses from Mr. Charm. There we go. Okay. Let's try and get some composure going. Bring the birdies in. And then we can actually start hanging out together. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid Louis is going to be the soundtrack to today. But again, this is the reality of living with birds. This is something that people don't like on my live streams or my videos. But I cannot silence the birds because this is what it's like. And they get really excited when it's live stream or really excited when I'm filming or when Dave's filming because so we're talking, uh, projecting our voices. And that's really exciting, isn't it? Isn't it? Come here. Oh, little kiss. Thank you so much. Right. Where should I start? Let's have a quick drink because I feel a bit flustered. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> we also time these live streams almost badly because they've kind of had their afternoon nap and now it's wakey, wakey time. And... Um, getting ready to rock and roll. So it is currently uh, nearly 20 to five in the afternoon, isn't it, Char? Um, what have we been up to, Olive? What have we been up to? Oh my goodness, Louis, I may have to ask David to go <laughs> and uh, say hello to Louis. Yeah, okay, hello everybody. Yeah, big, ki big kisses for sweet Olive. There we go, oh lovely, enjoy, enjoy the view. <laughs> My goodness. He's so naughty, isn't he? Thank you. Bit, bit of silence. What a treat. Okay, let's get into something that's actually been happening. Yeah? Yeah. The birdie bird is happening. The birdie bird. <laughs> so exhausted today. I'm really sorry, guys. This is just like throwing me up big time. So, what's been happening? Today on Instagram is the last day that you can enter our competition to win tickets to Think Paris, which is on the 9th of June. Yeah, isn't it? We're going to get Charlie loads of goodies. Yeah, and we're going to be there to say hello to everybody at the Northern Parrot Stand. We're going to say hello. But the um, the competition that we're running to win tickets ends today on Instagram. So make sure you head over to the Minor Days Instagram to find more information about that um, and be in the chance of winning. Olive, she's like, I want to. I'm just going to destroy the computer. You cheeky birdies. Right, that's point one of many out of the way. Good girl. I'm going home in a minute, maybe. Let's <laughs> see how we get nice. Uh, yeah, her little feet are so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, we also did an interview with Robin Sullivan of the Leather Elves recently over on her channel where we were discussing all things about the ethics and welfare of keeping parrots. It's a really interesting discussion. Uh, really enjoyed it. So head over to the Leather Elves uh, YouTube channel after this, or I actually have a playlist on my channel which is where I've appeared on other people's channels. I can't remember what I've called it, something like Bird Nerds, so if you're on other people's channels, it's very original. Um, because I've been on the Parrot Podcast, which is run by Poodles and Parrots a few times. Uh, I think I've been on like five episodes of that, and now we've been on um, Robin's channel. So hopefully I'm loving the use of emojis, Ali. <laughs> um, it's not often people use them. So if you are a channel member, you get access to all these amazing emojis of the birds, so do use them. Um, yeah, that was a really fun interview. 
Um, ah, really important. Um, we recently released our How to Build a Great Relationship with Your Bird course. Uh, it's our second course on our website. Um, it seems to have gone down really well, hasn't it? A lot of people really enjoyed it. We've had some really nice reviews about it. Um, so if you are struggling with bonding and taming and training with your bird, or you're having kind of struggles in your training and that kind of thing, then it's a really great option. And if you are a YouTube channel member or a Patreon supporter, then you get 50% off. We've got an exclusive discount code there because we all have a discount. Um, so yeah, it's been a really great course. We also have our nutritional enrichment course for pet parrots on there. And we're just slowly kind of, as we have time, <laughs> wherever that time may be, we're adding more courses to the website um, to kind of help as many people as possible. And yeah, it's a really fun one to um, come on to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining um, my channel membership. So go and check out that. Oh, Charlie is so excited. He's always yes. celebrating. Thank you so much for joining. Go, Charlie. 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 Because I'm going to get husk all over the laptop. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie's getting husk all over the laptop. Baby bird. Charlie boy. Baby bird. What do you want? Can you kiss? I love you. <laughs> Good boy. Right, I think these two are going to go home because David's going to have to go and train with Lou and Kip because they're being so noisy. I literally cannot even think straight. So bear with me one moment. Say, so, love you, Charlie. Thanks for coming. I wish I could be out more, but Louis is just being naughty. Come on, sweet Ollie. Come on, come on. Come on. Good girl. training or something in the background because it would be nice to actually talk to you guys instead of being like I can't hear myself think but mm. it's not like this all day long um I would say as well so it's normally quiet time, it is normally it? quiet yeah but for some reason well live we know the reason live streams and filming is really difficult because they get really excited there's lots of noise going on um and they just they just want to take part so yeah it's all very <laughs> it's all very stressful but they're gonna have a little training session in the background i'm, I'm gonna get more birds out shortly but i want to just kind of chat to you guys and say hello because i feel like the first 12 minutes of this has just been a little bit crazy but then many of you seasoned members <laughs> and seasoned viewers will know that this is this is what to um expect my goodness guys gifting memberships <laughs> wow I can't believe you've just done that. That's so generous of you. Thank you so much for being so generous to everybody, Ali. My goodness. Um, <laughs> wow. That, that's, yeah, I'm yeah, a little bit blown away. Thank you very much for being so generous to everybody. That's really kind of you. And please do spam the custom emojis. Um, and if you guys want um, specific emojis of the birds, I can change them. I, I set them up a little while ago when we first did... <laughs> We first set up the memberships. Um, wow, okay. I'm, I'm, you guys just throw me off. Everything's throwing me off. I'm terrible. Um, we just had a massive gift of memberships to other people from, from Ali. And also, I can't even pronounce this. Um, can David pronounce it for me? <laughs> this one. Um, yeah, I don't want to be the one to say it badly. Please let us know how to pronounce because, yeah, you guys are awesome. It's really kind of you. And there's so many of you here today. This is just, yeah, really nice. So I'm really glad that all of you could make it to the chaos. I'll try and do some training with the other birds that come out um, a little bit later. Um, obviously, Louie and Kipling, as many of you guys know, if you've been here for a while, I get them out like once a year for the live stream because it's stressful <laughs> um kipling is a sensitive soul as you guys probably know especially those of you on discord um and patreon i should say uh, will know about kipling's challenges and things who's coming out it's the brothers the brothers are coming out Ollie's gonna scream <laughs> they're so naughty right i think i'm gonna do some training with the brothers in a second because <laughs> um alicia if you're here requested that I did some flight training with Chipper Fish. I think that was right. You don't so want to they, they may not want training, I did say that as well. Um, so I'm going to do, try and do some recall training with Chipper Fish in a second and see if they're up for it. They can be a little bit hit and miss, um, especially this time of day, they're less motivated for training as well because they've had their dinner too. So it's kind of like chill time, downtime. Normally, 
Um, and I, as I said, I apologise <laughs> if anyone's birds are going crazy listening to this because my birds are going crazy. Um, so yeah, let me get some millet and we'll see what we can do with the brothers and then we'll talk about some little topics and stuff. As I said though, any questions that you have for me today about all things parrot, bird, me, whatever, the universe, the meaning of life, um, <laughs> we could talk about that. So let's get some minutes for the brothers. Uh, David will be in the chat as well if I'm training and you want something answered. That is a lot of Kiplings. I mean, one Kipling is, is bad enough. <laughs> That's a lot of Kiplings. <laughs> right. Where's that minute? What have I got for the brothers? What have we got, Jesus? Yeah, are you ready? And the foraging tray uh, stand might be a bit too tempting. Let's have a look. Are you coming? Chips or chips in the way. He'll be like um, waves and stuff. Ready? Should we go? We've got to do poops first, guys. I'm sorry you had to get this set. <laughs> Should we go? Should we go? Good boy. Good job. Fish, fish. We'll start with a little step up. Prime them a little bit. <laughs> Ready? Awesome. It's like we don't normally do this for the live stream. We just want to go and forage. Come on, man. Good job. Oh God, what is going on on the chat? I can see it in the distance. Gifting memberships again. Is that was that Gina? Yeah. You guys, what are you up to today? You're being so nice to everybody. My goodness, this is a real community vibe here today, and I'm loving it. Um, thank you for being so generous to everybody and whoever is a member now. And thanks for the generosity of the people today. Make sure you spam those emojis in the chat, the custom emojis of the birds. And check um, the um, course discount as well. Yeah, now you're all members. You all now get um, a discount <laughs> for both of our courses. They both have discounts, I think. The old ones will be on there somewhere. Um, but yeah, the How to Build a Great Relationship with Your Bird course uh, has a discount code on the community tab of YouTube channel members. <laughs> Cute little spam emoji. Good job, Good as you can see, they just they want the stand. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want to work for snacks. You don't want to contra free them. Ready? Chip chip? No? Fish fish cup? Good job. See if I can get Chip to do a couple of behaviours on camera. I don't think he's going to. But we can ask him. Um, I'm definitely like a bit thrown off because this isn't normally <laughs> this isn't going to my normal routine for for life, but you know, we've got to be adaptable. I mean, life, life is never normal. No, especially not with eight parrots and all of the bugs that we have, like seven spiders and hundreds of isopods and two praying mantids and cockroaches and all the other bugs that we have that we don't show on the channel. Uh, David has a dedicated channel to that. If you're interested in all the other pets that we have Hello. at our mini zoo, uh, <laughs> then check out Spoodapods. That's Spoodapods. I'll get David to write it in the chat box. Um, to uh, go and check out the other pets that we have in the house because we have more than just birds and not everybody likes them which is why I don't post them on my channel I would like to but um I I am consciously aware that some people are terrified of things like spiders um not that you should be because they are amazing um but you'll find more about why they're so amazing over at David's, David's channel because yeah they're awesome we absolutely love them um and Ali is just He's just making it rain with all, <laughs> all these memberships. Ali is just going going wild. I'm loving it. It's very generous of you, Ali, for being so kind to the community. Um, yeah, amazing. So let me see if I can get Chip to wave for you at the very least, because as we said before, like that's fish fish. <laughs> all of the birds, they enjoy all of our company, but the cockatiel is very much like daddy's boys. So if, if it's not too much trouble, if I could possibly... <laughs> If I could possibly pry you away from Papa for a second, I know it's a lot to ask, but everyone has come here to see you and not me. Here's his big brother, little brother. Can you say hello? Can you say hiya? Yeah, whoa, which way? Whoa. <laughs> Chip's like, I do not want to do any training. Let's see, Let's see what we can do. Can we, can we wait? Hold, hold me out. I've got one now. Can you wait? Good job. Wow, it is. It's just going wild in, in <laughs> it's going wild in the chat. Um, I really want to pronounce it, Tilikinin. Oh my goodness. I'm, please tell me in the chat how to pronounce your name, please. Because I'm gonna, this is why I don't read out anyone's names. I'm so worried about pronouncing them wrong and just looking really daft. 
So thank you again to everyone just being really kind and gifting memberships to everybody. Um, <laughs> David doesn't need to be a member. <laughs> I can't use emojis. I'm not allowed to, so I'm not a member, am I? It's very true. David's banned from, from I'm using the emojis. Spend a pound <laughs> David doesn't over. need to give me money. Believe it or not, I don't know if you guys know, but we are tech, you know, we're engaged. We do live on the same house. So we don't need to <laughs> give each other money like that. Um, so he can use other emojis if the um, if the mood takes him, I suppose. Has there been any questions so far? Well, been, oh my goodness, Ali. <laughs> I think, I think he's trying to get one to me. That's not happening, is uh, it? As, yeah, it's very kind of you, and you're, but you're just... <laughs> Literally the whole chat has a membership. Everybody... Uh, hit... <laughs> David's being excluded. Which well, it's YouTube. <laughs> it's basically YouTube all over, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's because you're an admin for the chat. They Maybe. Want... <laughs> um, yeah, David's just banned from using emojis. He's just not allowed to be a member. Um, I mean, it may be, maybe in case I am banned. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Shadow banned. Uh, just like our views on YouTube. But anyway, <laughs> oh, goodness me. <clears throat> I don't want to play this down. Okay. What is that? <laughs> right, okay. Should we should we talk about stuff? Um, chip and fish. Um, oh, okay. Adara knows what's good. Adara's like... <laughs> don't keep going. Guys, I mean, it's very generous. If you want to, that's completely fine. Feel free, but... Um, I don't know how that works. My mum's here, guys. As usual, everybody in the chat say hi, Sophie's mum. Mum has come to witness the chaos. Um, oh, right. <laughs> Over here. David's here. Say woo. Um, just to prove that. Amazing, that's why I'm he's looking very handsome and he's with the brothers. Uh, but as I said, they they are very much, they like to hang out in his chair anyway. Um, but yeah, Chip and Fish are very well bonded to David. They're, they're bonded to me as well, but as you can see, all birds have a preference um, with hanging out. So it would be nice if they wanted to be on here. Maybe if I move this over. Yeah. Then, whoops. They may come and have Show a the penis is demand. Show the cockatiel. Show them. Why should I? <laughs> yeah, put an exclamation mark. Show, show them. What's in it for show me? Show the cockatiel. <laughs> the cockatiel says to show them. Here they are. I hope that satisfies your craving. <laughs> I hope, that, I hope that you're pleased now. Here they are. Yeah. There, there they are, doing doing stuff. Oh, but yeah. What's going on? Snacking. Wow. Aren't they handsome? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I like to keep the channel members fee low. You get your discounts and... Some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, if I'm being honest, Patreon is your better bet if you want super duper, you know, loads of content and behind the scenes updates and access. Well, actually, saying that on YouTube channel members, you get access to our Discord server. Now there's so many members. Oh, yeah, you, get well. <laughs> you, you could all come and join our Discord server. So I am going to make a note to put a fresh link. So if you've now become a member, thanks to the generosity of the very kind people in the chat today, I'm going to put a fresh link in the um, special members area of my YouTube community tab. Um, so if you would like to join our live chat Discord server, where you can chat with um, everybody that's already a member, David and I live chatting. It's a very friendly community. We don't take no nonsense. So we're all friends. We and get off, get yeah, we are very, very strict. We don't have many rules, but the rules that are there are very strict. <laughs> um, so let's write down Discord link for... YouTube members. So that'd be quite That's exciting to see some more people joining. Um because it's really, yeah, we absolutely love our Discord community. Um it's really fun no. to get to connect with fellow um <laughs> fellow yeah, make sure to share bird pics or else. That's that's basically the rule, isn't it? If there's no bird pics, you're not coming in. <laughs> um <clears throat> So yeah, and as we've said before, you don't have to join these things, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourselves and your birds and all that kind of stuff. So, um, <laughs> yeah, everyone's like realizing we're now members, what? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of you, oh my goodness, there, there's the scampy man, there's there's my boy. Right, um, what, what's going on today? Does anybody know? I don't. Um, <laughs> So, as I said, if anybody has any questions, now there's uh, quite a few people here, do drop them in the chat, anything about 
uh, parrots and things like that. Um, what do we want to talk about first, I wonder? So in terms of birds, everyone except Olive is molting. Um, Chip and Fish are getting there. They've done most of their molt already. Same with the Crimsons. Charlie is like almost fully, completely like cycled through his feathers now. Kip's taking a little bit longer. Louis is more or less there. Scampy has literally only just started. And right now he's like dropping one or two feathers here and there. But I'm really excited for him to really get into that molt. We said it, I think, on David's live, last live stream or mine. Um, Scampy is really well overdue for a molt and he experienced a little bit of stress at the end of last year, which we know why now and all that kind of stuff. So his feathers haven't been looking as nice as they normally do. Um, but now that molt has finally been triggered, um, I'm really excited for him to be nice and fresh, fresh, fully feathered. Um, and yeah, just looking nice and um, brand new. So um, what is going on? So yeah, everyone's molting. Um, I really like molting time, not because the birds are aggy or anything like that, but I just, I love the feathered treasure. Um, when the cheek feathers come out of the cockatiels, it's like, go, go, go. <laughs> this is not a drill. And David's like, save it. And I'm running off to go and put it somewhere safe because I do love to save all of the nice feathers. I've got these huge like mason jars full of feathers from everybody um, because I just, I can't bring myself to throw away a nice feather, which is, is really bad. But they just, they spend so long creating them. Oh. <laughs> so I can't bear to throw it away. Ali is literally, this is Ali with his memberships. Like everybody, come and take a seat because <laughs> Ali's here. Um, wow, there's there's so many members, my goodness. Hello everybody. <laughs> I'm now seeing who's here because um, the members. Um, yeah, when you when you find those big tail feathers as well, they're really impressive. So it's, it's nice to say them. I feel like a lot of birds this month is just like, the molting month. The crimson started a while ago, Louis started a while ago, but a lot of birds seem to have started this month. So it's obviously some something in the air, something in the water. Um, but they do molt usually once a year. Some birds will molt twice a year, but it is quite a strenuous process on the body. So typically it's once a year. And I do have a video all about um, molting. So um, if that is something that you would like more information on, um, go and check that out on my channel. It is the English spelling of molting. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come up anyway. Um, so M-O-U-L-T is how we spell it. Um, yes, hello everybody. There's quite a few of you here today, which I love to see. And now I think 90% of you are now members. <laughs> um, cool, so uh, what else is going on? <clears throat> Something I wanted to bring up, because there's been a lot of interesting debates going on recently, is um, the difference between people spreading misinformation and disinformation when it comes to parrot care. And that's things like diet information or behavior or training. And you may have heard these two words before. Maybe you think they're the same thing. But I wanted to clarify what it actually means because they're two different words. If somebody is spreading misinformation, it means that they are sharing information that they believe to be correct. They don't realize it's not correct, but they're sharing it um, because they think it's it, they're under the impression it's correct. Now, what we've seen recently from a few different sources is disinformation. And disinformation is where people knowingly share false information um, normally for a, a reason. It's normally like a financial reason or to suit their own interests and things. And that's something that's really getting on our nerves a little bit because we're, <laughs> we're really here for the birds. Um, we, we do have, you know, some brand collaborations and things like that, but we would never work on anything that didn't align with our values. But there's been a lot of, for example, fear mongering about parrot food, what you can feed your parrot. Um, recently especially when it comes to fresh foods as well that's been quite concerning because people are picking and choosing what information to share and then the reason they're doing that is because they've got all the answers they've got a book they've got a product that you need to buy because that's where you're going to find the real information that's where you're going to find out what's true and i find that a little bit frustrating do you have any thoughts on on that only what you said i find yeah. it annoying when people deliberately say things they probably know are wrong just because they want extra money. And some people have a viewpoint that they pick science that supports it and they ignore the other science, which isn't quite as bad, but it still amounts to the same sort of thing, really, which is a bit sad, honestly. Um, but then me and Sophie take a bit of a stupid moral standpoint. 
uh, it's probably not very it's not very good for our bank balance but we've decided that we we have our um our views and we believe what is what we think is right we're open to new ideas all the time and we're not going to be bought out you know um and we've resisted all, all attempts to buy ourselves so far so. <laughs> yeah i've been well oh, what's going on there hang on um i have been asked to promote certain pellets which do not align with my values which of course i've said no toys and we've said no toys to yeah we've been offered all sorts of things treat boxes seed sticks we've been offered countless things from like like dodgy places like just promote this and you can have some money and it's like no like my bank my bank balance is telling me yes but my, my heart's telling me no we're kind of in for, for a moral thing yeah, we, we, are. Want, we want to change the world rather than just make a quick buck we want to make money as well but we actively want yeah. to make things better yeah and we want to make our mark on this world by doing that yeah and i don't know if it's going to work or if we're ever going to achieve it properly but we're trying so. maybe maybe if you guys believe in us anything's possible no but um, well, even if even just you guys if you listen to us that's something you know we've done something worthwhile that you know if, if you find us of value in what we say no that's the thing like what, what we always say and yes. i know people you know people are very very kind um people are always very nice about us and what we say and what we do hopefully people see that we're authentic i don't want to like toot my own horns it's weird but we are always open to being wrong we are open to being corrected we are open to new ideas you know if you look back on some of the videos at the start of when i first started my channel there may be things in there i don't promote anymore there may be things that we do differently um, and that's okay because i want to do better we should all strive to do better and you know, always do it for the birds. For people who, <laughs> Tara, I'll come to that in a minute. For people who stick to one way, one way is the only way. Don't question me. I just know that's really concerning because, um, you know, you, I don't know. People are different, aren't they? But we're doing it for the birds. And as David said, it doesn't do us any favors for our bank balance or <laughs> paying the bills. We are here for the birds. That's what's most important. It sounds really cheesy and cringy and stuff, but it's true because, yeah, I just, I just it's love just birds. like the world. Do you want to in, just like... No, I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, it's just like in the world in general. You know, there's so many people who just want quick money. And what's that going to do in the long term? What legacy are we going to leave for the future if we make a quick buck now? Yeah, we may be able to have an extra Xbox or whatever, but what difference does that make? You know. And I find it quite a toxic way that people think right now. Like it's all about getting money now. Um, I'm not going to swear, so I'm not going to swear. No, not um, on my do, hor do horrible stuff to everyone else. No one cares. I don't want that. We don't. We want to leave whatever legacy we can because what's the point otherwise? You know, we're supposed to be improving things, not make leaving things yes. worse. And always ask why. Ask us why we do things. You know, that's okay. And I can tell you, this is why I do it. In and a polite if, way. If you yeah, if you want to ask politely, I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you. You may even change my mind on something, or maybe we can just have an adult discussion about why things are done in certain ways, why we do things differently to other creators, other trainers, other things like that. And, you know, you're never going to find two, I hate the word, influencers uh, or content creators or trainers. You're never going to find two people who do everything exactly the same. You will often take, you know, everyone's information and take what you need from it and what aligns with your values as well. Again, as we've said on previous live streams, if anyone says that their way is the only way you should follow everything they do because that's the way to do it, it's probably probably something in there for them, isn't there? I feel like I've gone on a really weird tangent today. <laughs> Today's been a weird, weird live stream, but I don't mind, you know, it's never predictable. And there are birds out, they're, they're, <laughs> they're there. They probably have to go home in a minute. So I actually have literally in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Get well, get people on the campus and actually see the birds. Do you want, do you want the scritch? Who wants the scritch? Of course. You want to have the scritch. Daddy's babies. They do scritch with me as well, but as I said, <laughs> they much prefer those. So that, that was just um, a really odd time to bring that up. But I just wanted to, you know, get you thinking about it doesn't always have to stay the same. It doesn't have to be this way. You this can ask why. Um, yeah, yeah I've, I've... A bit of a behind the scenes <laughs> question. What do we do differently? I'm, I'm like a little bit less hands on. I like them to just chill. Um, Whereas you're very much trained, a lot more training, although we obviously have the same sort of training ethic generally. Yeah, we both have the same training ethic. They're, you know, not only just in our own relationship, but just with our own experiences and our difference of experiences as well. We may not even conflict, just have Specific different examples. I think these are. Just, I mean, a really obvious one is I do all of Kipling's outings and Lou and Kipling's outings because 
he does show undesirable behavior to David, which could be a safety risk. Uh, again, more information on that on Patreon if you haven't seen already. Um, <laughs> but in general themes, I suppose I'm a little bit less, I'm a little bit more hands off. Um, I I'm, get I'm up. More, at... I'm more into tricks. No, that's not, that's not a difference. That's not a thing. <laughs> No, but it is like it's what I do with the afternoon stuff, so you know. Um, yeah, David really relishes just kind of hanging out and just and also of, training tricks. So and like do like well. really, really trick training, like um, with, the with the cocktails doing um, their tidy up training. Come here, turn in the live stream. Oh, he's a monster. Where's the snacks? He's a monster. Can you come here, please? Either will do. Get there in a minute. I want you to go on my handle, man. That's it. What a good boy you are. And I am more into the husbandry side of training behaviors, so like syringe training, nail trimming training, and that kind of maintenance stuff. But you know, there's in general terms, there's always going to be a difference in what we do because that's why we work. We work all right together, I suppose. He's all right, you know. <laughs> um, do you want to come and say hello, Scam? He does. He says hello. Um, okay, we're going up there. Scampy's new favourite thing, if you haven't seen David's recent video, is whenever we're filming with them, he insists on flying onto the camera or onto the viewfinder, uh, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, when we're trying to film, and he's like, I need, to, I need to have my tail in the way. Let's see if we can get you to do some flipping, though. No? Okay, we're going to try and end the live stream. Can you come here, please? Yes, Scampy! Everyone's here for you! Goodness, have there been any other questions by the way? Uh, not that I know. Okay, so yeah, guys, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely making a really, very valuable um, point as well. Mm -hmm. In case I missed it, uh, let me just watch that. A valid point, I can't even find it. I would uh, love she to said, a point. She said the birds are different too, it works for one bird, training and works for another. Yeah, there are individuals in birds, you know, you have to adapt your approach constantly, which is very, very true. <laughs> Um, one of the things, a uh, really good point on that as well, is on Patreon, uh, I did a video a while back now, which was training, what was it? I think it was training the high five with three different birds, and I trained it in three different ways, because um, training it is just different. So, yeah, it's just, it's about knowing your individual bird, learning what they like, their body language, um, their precursors to undesirable behaviours. Everyone's like, so excited. Can you put stuff on there? Okay, we don't want to. Pickles P, she's so excited. Can you say hello, everyone? They want to see your beautiful face. Pickles P, Pickles P. <laughs> she's like, no, I want to cause mayhem. Oh my goodness. How do I get my bird to come onto my shoulder? Um, you want to have it, well, <laughs> you want to have a consistent step up, uh, consistent target training, and then make it a fun place to be. You can use top tier treats. Um, but if you're ever allowing your bird on your head or your shoulder, you want to make sure they have a consistent step up so that you can get them off if you need to. Um, Joel has a question about when should we get cockatiels yeah. nails clipped? When should we get cockatiels nails clipped? So um, you want to clip your birds or have somebody clip your bird's nails when um, they are, when your bird's foot is flat, if their nail is pointing upwards and it's making the rest of the toe point upwards, that's a good place to consider getting them cut soon. If you've never done it before, you need to um, see somebody who has, so they can show you how to do it. I also have a video on my channel about voluntary nail trimming. Um, so if you haven't seen that already, I'd recommend watching that. But again, if you've never ever cut a bird's nail before, you probably want to see it being done first because uh, it can bleed. And obviously that is a safety risk. Um, yeah, there's more information on that video. Yeah, you know what's the question from Jonas? How do I get my bird on my shoulder? I saw you did. Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, hopefully you heard me, Jonas. But basically, um, make it a fun place to be by using top tier reinforcement. But again, make sure that you have a consistent step up and target. Um, Anna says, how do you keep your bird to stay on your hand? You use duration. <laughs> Scampy. <laughs> Why do you always want to be on there? So, Scampy is happy to be on hand for the most part. So I give him a treat for being on there. And then if he will normally be on there for one second, I'll see if I can leave it for two seconds, give him another treat for being on there. So I'm rewarding him for staying on there for longer. What are you up to? He just wants to be on the keyboard and we're not doing that today, Mr. Scan. 
Um, and you just gradually increase the time, but also making sure that you're reinforcing. Because again, people often think that the birds just kind of be on the hand, uh, but there needs to be an incentive to be on there. And that is through top tier treats. Pickle is up there, so she doesn't want to come to me. Um, yeah. She's talking in, it's talking about the bird walking on her face, but like climbing on it, like walking when you lay down, like how, how does she walk on your face? Yeah, do let us know how she's walking on your face. Ideally, that would be something that you'd want to avoid for a variety of reasons. It's, potential dangers, it's though, definitely yeah. a safety risk. Um, also, they have sharp nails, and also if they've been walking in their poops, <laughs> and then that's been all over your face. That's not very good. Louis, who is fish fish? Noisy birdies, once again, we had that brief pause of quiet. <laughs> so naughty. Um, yeah, egg laying. Um, thanks for joining the live, by the way. Egg laying is not something you recommend. I know I've seen a couple of comments in the chat, and if that's something that you're planning on doing, then that's great. But we don't recommend uh, having your birds in a position where they're going to lay eggs because it's incredibly strenuous on the body, and there are more than enough parrots in rescue centres, unless you're planning, of course, keeping all of these babies and you know how to raise them, you know how to hand feed them, which I don't. I get countless messages all the time. How do I hand feed this baby chick that the parents rejected? I don't know. Never done it before. Don't come to me. Um, make sure you're prepared for these sorts of things. So um, David has a video on egg laying on his channel um, with some things that you can do to support your bird. We always recommend having dummy eggs, which are fake eggs. Um, which you can buy, you can buy the right size. I think we've got ours on eBay, um, just in case. So if your bird does lay an egg, you can take the real one out and replace it with two dummy eggs uh, and go from there as they lay them. Because the idea behind that is to trick them into thinking that they've laid more than enough eggs um, so that their body doesn't continue to lay loads and loads. Because again, the more eggs they lay, it's not great. It's not great on their body. They're not like chickens who've been like selectively bred to lay I mean, that's a whole other topic on its own, um, but they, they haven't been selectively bred to lay eggs. The whole point of them laying eggs is with the intention of creating a baby. Um, so we want to avoid that because, yeah, unless you specifically are an ethical breeder or you're doing things for conservation work, I don't recommend intentionally having your bird laying eggs. And guys, don't worry about being late. You can always watch your back. And if anything, you've just missed lots of noise. <laughs> Um, audio quality is really terrible, can barely hear you. There, that's because I live with eight parrots. Soz. Um, I I that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> um, can anyone else hear me? Is there a problem? <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone wants to... Surprise giving it to Matt, you know. Yeah, if anyone wants to sponsor me a microphone, that's great, but there's not really much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Um... <laughs> maybe we need to do more of that um, selling out. Just yeah, maybe I should have taken that Pellets brand deal and then I can afford the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be sassy, but like all I get on this channel is, can't hear you, the birds are so loud. It's like, yeah, because I live with birds. At least we don't have a filming room. I don't, we, don't have have a... like, we just don't have the money, basically, for all the stuff. And I know that that is like a bit of a cop out, you know, we're YouTubers, but we have to have a balance. Those guys come first. We're YouTubers, us. but, you know, our, our, our bread and butter is we're parrot behavior consultants and, and parrot trainers, you know. YouTube is what we do on the side. And as you can, say, you can tell by our recent views, it's not earning us much money at all. Um, so unless anyone wants to sub me a, a microphone, uh, this is the best you're going to get. Not, not only do you guys who constantly are nice to us. No, you, you no. Guys give us enough, thank you. you guys are so generous and you're so kind. And I really appreciate all your time and your kind words and your support on the channel and comments and stuff like that. But yeah, it does. It gets on my nerves a little bit when people constantly comment about the birds being noisy or stuff. We don't have a studio. We are not wealthy enough to have a You're studio. talking too fast. I just say no now. You know <laughs> Do you know what? I, I know that I talk a bit fast and it's normally because I'm trying to get through my content because the birds are going to be noisy. So I can't win. Um, so yeah, unless anyone wants to buy us a house or a studio. Um, here we are. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to be sassy. I'm terrible. Um, Gina, that's that's very naughty of you. We don't want any money from you because you're so, so generous. It's very, very kind of you. I'm, I'm joking, but you don't have to. You're you're very, very lovely. Um, your 10th super on a live stream. You are incredibly naughty. We really appreciate and love you, Gina. So thank you. I, I have just liked it. I hope that worked. Um, yeah, people do rage. And uh, do you know what? I, I actually like the fact, even though it's stressful when I'm filming, I like the fact that the birds just are noisy because it's real life. 
um, I, you know, I have tinnitus in, in my ears. I can't hear very well because I've been working with birds for so long because they are noisy all the time. I made a video recently about how loud parrots are because that's real life. And if, if people who want multiple birds, I suppose, but people who want birds are listening to my videos, my life stream, thinking, wow, that's too noisy. I can't cope with it. It's driving me nuts. I need to turn it off. Maybe you should get a bird because this, this is what it's like. Um, it's, it's noisy and it's funny, sometimes we, we'll just be cracking on and we'll be working and then I'll kind of like zone back in and realise just how noisy they're being because you do get used to it over time. Um, you definitely get used to it, but it's just it's what they do. They are naturally loud. Um, sorry, I'm just checking up in the chat. You absolutely, um, the, the Shana 77, can I just make a point, as I haven't already said, I do not expect money from any of you guys. Honestly, we do not expect any no, no, money. No, what we want is we want, we want, we want our money to come from I was joking when I said I wanted to... YouTube. We want our <laughs> yeah. YouTube channel to take off. We want more work. We don't yeah. want money just given to us but, because that's just, you know, yeah, you guys probably need your money as well. We, we want to get our money in the, the normal ways, you know, by being successful for what we do. We're incredibly grateful. For example, Klaus, who's been exceptionally naughty right now on the naughty train. Thank you very much for your generosity and the very cute um, superhero pair. Honestly, when I, I, was, I was joking about the mic thing, but the point I'm trying to make is, like, we, we aren't, like, wealthy beauty doing anything. We're, we're paying the bills and we are doing stuff and we're doing it for the birds. And it's, it's tough on YouTube at the moment because there's just a whole thing. We talk about every live stream, so I'm not going to bore you today. There's a whole thing of like actually having trouble being seen at the moment. But the greatest gift that you guys can give us, if anyone's like, oh, I would like to support you, but you know, I don't expect your money. What I would love is a like on a video, a comment on a video, watching a couple of videos. It's all free to do. Um, follow me on Instagram, comment on my Instagram. Send me a nice message. You know, Let me know what you think, as long as you're not being mean. <laughs> yeah, I love that engagement, and I love... Uh, connecting with you guys and hearing about your birds and you know that's awesome I really um really enjoy talking to you guys and you know if you engage with our content or if you watch multiple videos one after the other that really helps with getting a video seen that that's the kind of that's what we'd like and it's free to do so if that is something that you're interested in then feel free to help us out that way but we absolutely do not expect your money and um, however if you do want to spend any of your hard-earned cash uh supporting us then we do recommend joining patreon because then you get loads and loads and loads more videos that have already been filmed um you get to join a discord server you know you can you get priority dm support with us that kind of thing so that's why if you want to support us anyway feel free to do that um we love you too parrots on wheels thank you very much for your generosity you're very kind and we really appreciate you being part of the community everybody here appreciate you being part of the community um we're just yeah really thankful that there are so many nice people in the world who decide to join our live streams or comment on our videos or uh join our members and things like that so um yeah um that's that's a whole lot of rambling thanks guys again you don't have to be here the whole time um, <laughs> yeah, it's um usual, it's yes just exploring Sam on the floor. is crumbling on the floor i don't actually know where he is it's just on your feet um i will show you the floor we need to hoover so please excuse but again real life with parrots where are you there he is. Woohoo! There's a scamble man. There he is. He's a big boy. And the pickles just hanging out near David. Because again, while she's been more into me recently, she's definitely a daddy's baby, aren't you? Yeah? Is that who you are? Oh my goodness. Right. We have a bit of silence. I feel a bit flustered. A... <laughs> There's a lot going on today, guys. Um, I always get a bit flustered on the live streams because I don't want it to be lame. Um, yes. Do we know what we will be doing at the parrot conference yet? So if you mean think parrots, we are going to be at the Northern Parrot Stand. Um, we are going to have our own little table there. Uh, we'll have some little kind of freebie scampi. <laughs> we'll have some little freebie giveaway things for people. Like, well, I'm not going to say what it is yet because we haven't actually sorted it out yet. <laughs> um, we will be there. So if you want to chat to us one on one, um, that's always fun um, to actually get to connect with you guys. Do you want a drink? Maybe uh, David can get some drink in a minute. Um, uh, yes, we're going to be at that stand for specific time slots, which we haven't decided yet because we need to work out travel and stuff like that. Um, and I'll also be doing shopping because we love a bit of shopping <laughs> and treating the birds. 
uh, and just connecting with people. And yeah, so we're not doing like a set kind of talk or anything like that. We're just going to be there um, and we'll be at the Northern Parrot Stand for a set period of time. But you can approach us if we are around the stand, you can say hello and stuff. Um, uh, do I still work at the zoo? No, I don't. Um, if you guys didn't know, my, my trade is being a zookeeper and I was a zookeeper up until... Uh, when did I leave? Ago. Yeah, I left a little while ago, um, not because there's a problem with it, it's more that, um, as you guys know, we're always banging on about how we've got no time, but like, <laughs> um, we, we're just really busy, uh, really busy, but <laughs> not earning a lot of money, <laughs> no, just like, there's just a lot going on, you know, we obviously run our business, Best Bay Birds, we've got YouTube, we've got eight birds, we've got all the bugs, we've got other commitments and other stuff, you know, that we don't share on social media and, and all kinds of things like that. And occasionally we like to have a little bit of time for ourselves um, <laughs> once the birds go to bed. So, um, yeah, I just couldn't fit it in the time. The, the actual travel time was tricky. But, yeah, I love being a zoo. I love being a zookeeper. It, you know, I love working with animals. That's what I've been doing since I kind of started my career, so to speak. Um, but we have our own mini zoo here. Um, as I said, if you miss the start of it, Make sure you go to Spoodapods, which is David's second channel, which is um, all about all of our uh, invertebrate pets. We have lots. We have spiders. We have praying mantis. We have cockroaches. We have um, tarantulas. We have jumping spiders. You know, we've got we've got all sorts of things and more coming. So um, if that's your jam, or if you would like to tackle your phobias because they are not as scary as they seem, then make sure you head over. Um, we're going to be here for a few more minutes. So again, if anybody has any other burning questions um, to ask or anything you'd like to say? Now is the time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and also, once I had a drink, because I always lose my voice on this for some reason, I will make one other point, which is the most recent Patreon video that I filmed was that um, every single behaviour that your bird does has a reason. Um, Pioneer's Tales actually mentioned a little bit of this um, in her live stream before me. Behaviour always has a reason. How many times have you heard, you know, my birds bit me for no reason? Whoops. Oh, I just tried to fly into the acrylic. Silly boy. Um, every behaviour has a reason. Birds bite for a reason, always. Birds scream for a reason, always. Birds misbehave for a reason, always. Birds behave well for a reason, always. Um, it's called the law of effect. Behavior is a function of its consequence. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, uh, I highly recommend checking it out on Patreon because it's really important because it's very easy to think that there isn't a solution and birds just do things because they just do things, but there's always a reason. I wonder if that'll crop up in the interview or something up as well. Yeah, um, can I spoiler it? Yeah, you can Would you like no, to? No, 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 most certainly not. You can, you can tell, tell them if you like. Yeah, spoiler alert, David's got a really... Um, <laughs> yeah, so the bonk. So basically we have acrylic on top of pickles and scampi's <laughs> Did you hear the sound of it? We have uh, acrylic on pickles and scampi's cage, and we also have a, another one to use over here. Just a thin sheet of thin acrylic with corner protectors on, because pickles, if any bird lands on the top of her cage, she uh, will bite them, which we don't want. So it oh, lets them all the light in. It's perfectly safe to have around the birds. Uh, Scampi obviously didn't think it was up there at that point, so he kind of flew into it. But he, he's completely fine. He's back, you know, I promise he's fine. Um, yeah, David has a really exciting collab coming up, which he's filming tomorrow. Uh, I don't know when it's going up, but it is with Dr. Susan Friedman, who is a world-renowned psychology professor and also the professor who taught on the course that he did, which was on applied behavior analysis uh, for veterinary professionals and animal professionals that David recently graduated from. She is really, really famous, so it's, you know, it's a bit, a bit exciting. Um, but David is doing a whole video uh, with her on, was it on behaviour labels? Labeling. Yeah, labelling. So, behaviors. again, a little spoiler alert. If anybody in the chat has ever said, my bird is angry, my bird is stubborn, my bird is lazy, my bird is friendly, my bird is difficult, my bird uh, wants to misbehave, you know, any kind of thing like that. You've got any other labels to throw around? There's loads of them. Yeah, even aggression. My bird's aggressive. That's still behaviour label. Uh, he's going to be doing a deep dive with Susan about why labelling our birds is actually a really terrible idea because <laughs> uh, it doesn't help you and it actually makes things even worse. So um, that's going to be a really exciting collab um, coming out at some point. So make sure if you aren't already, I'm sure most of you are, but if you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed to The Parrot Teacher um, to... Um, See, and yeah, you know what? We we do often 
I'm sure I've even said it throughout this live stream. We do use behavior labels sometimes because it's a really easy way to communicate with other humans. Um, you know, sometimes I'll say, oh, Scampi's in a mood or that kind of thing. We'll say it in jest, but when we're actually analyzing why birds do certain behaviors, so I'm really losing my voice. <clears throat> we're actually analyzing why birds do certain behaviors and trying to work through undesirable behaviors if we just label a bird as as being something and that's just what it is and we can't change it then it really sets them up to fail so i won't say any more because susan and david will have loads to say but i'm really excited to listen in <laughs> on that um, because i think it's um yeah and we do label people as well i'm sure people label me as grumpy or giving too much too nice sometimes but i spend all this time trying to help people we're doing a um, with pinus as well won't we coming i'm oh, sorry yeah do you, want, do you want to no, tell no, <laughs> that camera around. Um, um apparently yeah. pinus tells you're doing a, a chat with david that's what he says um so again um, i'm going to keep shouting people out Subscribe to Pioneer's Tales, subscribe to The Parrot Teacher, subscribe to Spinner Pods if the mood takes you, subscribe to me as well. <laughs> subscribe to everybody and consume all the stuff and uh, take from it what you will because um, even consuming bad information can actually be valuable because you can think, oh, I don't agree with that. That doesn't make any sense. Um, and yeah, I, I think that actually sometimes consuming bad information can help you be a more critical thinker as well. Um, yeah, and I will have some clubs at some point. I'm still working on a few different things. Um, if there's anyone you want me to collab with, let them know. Let me know. Let's work it out. Um, yeah, it should be fun. Um, but there's there, there's always so much to film. <laughs> and there's just never enough time and never enough quiet time uh, as we have um, worked out. Because, I mean, we've, we've got to be able bit of silence now yeah, treasure guys pickles is resting on my head. <laughs> yeah pickles has got a little foot tucked up she's holding on to a bit of david's hair and she's just resting it's really cute um wow trinidad and tobago amazing i love it uh thank you so much for your kind words um i i do try and keep up with the chat but it's really hard for me because the text is really small and you know I've got this going on um but yeah i appreciate each and every one of you for being here today it's, it's been it's been chaotic it's been fun i'm all hot and bothered I need to go make pasta bacon in a minute. Uh, collab yeah, we should, we should do it's a collab, funny. actually. Um, <laughs> Mia, maybe I should do one. Hillary, don't even talk to me about Hillary, Adara. We've already discussed that. I'm trying. Um, tell, tell the people. Tell the people you want me to collab with. Tell them that they should collab with me. Um, and, yeah, Klaus, I can't imagine a live stream in silence. I always hope and wish and pray and cross my fingers. But it doesn't happen. And do you know what? It's okay. We, we roll with it. You can you can watch me problem solve live <laughs> as I try and work out um, how to to uh, work through it. But yeah, <laughs> no. But yeah, as I said, if you want us to come up with anyone, let them know. Let us know, and we'll we'll see what we can do um, because it's just really fun to connect with people. Uh, as you guys know, I have an ongoing series with Jason. Um, I've still got loads. I haven't even edited them yet, but they're all filmed. Um, more nutrition content, because I know quite a few of you enjoy nutrition content. Uh, Fruity Flock, I don't think they do YouTube, but that'll be fun. Uh, love their birds. Love a Konya, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, there's so many um, really fun, like, influencers, I suppose, the content creators, channels, that kind of thing. Um, and I, I get really invested in these birds I, I've never even met. <laughs> Um, I have met the fruity frog humans, but I haven't met the, the birds uh, yet. But that'll be fun maybe one day. Who knows? Um, and yes, uh, if you have been very generously gifted the uh, membership, you can join our Discord server. We do have a rule that you need to be a member for a little while to, in order to stay. So if you join and then leave, then we uh, we boot you out <laughs> of Discord. But it's more it's just like twice, so yeah, it has only happened twice, and that's not because we're just trying to keep your money. It's more about um, keeping the authenticity of the community. Um, but as we already said, we we take a, a zero tolerance approach to nonsense in there now. So uh, well, as we always have. So uh, we like to keep it really friendly uh, and help as many people as possible. Um, we um, should save ourselves. We don't really. Uh, we're not really big on covering. Yep. We talk about covering, basically covering people's all sorts of issues. A uh, blanket is definitely suffocating. If you use a thick blanket and you fully cover your bird, the airflow in there is going to be terrible, which could cause some issues. So consider partially covering them or using a blackout blind or something like that because covering, the more and more consults we do, the more and more we find that covering is a bit of an issue for a lot of people. Yeah. Some birds it works okay, for most it does not. Yeah, there's, there's a really big correlation between the consultations that we do with stress and anxiety and hormones and 
color, covering birds. We don't cover any of our birds uh, in the summertime because the sun rises at like 5 a.m. Uh, we use a temporary blackout blind. I've got it on in my Amazon store if you haven't seen it already. Uh, it's just suction cups. We just pop it up of an evening, take it down of a morning, mm. and then it keeps the room dark without having to physically cover the birds. They're not covered in the wild. No one's thrown a sheet over them on the, on the branch. So um, we want to keep it as naturalistic as possible to, to reduce the likelihood of undesirable behaviours. Um, <clears throat> Um, will I be doing an updated healthy seed mix? Um, not a dry mix. I need to do a, a, an updated sprouting video. Again, multitude of things need to buy stuff to actually do it and just put my finger out and get certain things done. I'm doing a collab with Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique coming up um, because she has, if you're looking to buy a seed mix, spoiler alert, if you're looking to buy a seed mix on the market that's the best seed mix ever, um, Polly's Natural Power Boutique recently brought out the Fine Cuisine Seed Mix, which has over 40 different ingredients formulated with the current president of the Association of Avian Veterinarians, Dr. Stephanie Lamb. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm not doing a seed mix video, but maybe at some point. Um, I'm just, <laughs> the chat's moving really quickly. I'm just trying to, because I'm going to finish shortly. Um, Oh yeah, don't put it in the chat. <laughs> it's yeah, even more people. <laughs> um, did you usually promote your videos more when you have more channels? I don't think it promotes them at all. Really. I've, I've, your guess is as good as mine. It'd be nice, uh, but I don't know if that's part of their algorithm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what they're up to at the moment. It's all very confusing. Just to copy TikTok. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll be I'll be putting the Discord link up on YouTube community. Again, the people who are YouTube channels are more than welcome to join. If you decide not to continue your membership, then you will just have the access to it for the month that you are a member. If you want to continue, you can stay in the Discord. Uh, it's a really fun place to be, so you get a chance to kind of try it out. Um, awesome. Yeah, um, Jonas, so obviously we, we know that people have different lifestyles. We don't necessarily recommend sleeping in the same room as your bird because they do get disturbed by us. The best thing that you can do is to just not react if they do wake up and um, just try and work out a system where you can still give your bird enough darkness and sleep. Um, but we appreciate that everybody's got different setups and things like that in the morning and just try and get them to settle. Um, Katie Puss, thank you so much for your generosity uh, there. I mean, like that. Um, very, very kind of you. Um, can you recommend any food I can buy to be given daily um, in addition to spelt, riot, and oat grains? Oh, to soak. To soak. to soak, yeah. David's got a whole video. I've got on. a soaking video. <laughs> yeah. um, I've just made it recently. So if you have a peek on the channel, there's a soaking video where I talk about a mix you can make. Yep. Which means, which means so if you talk about it together, it wasn't just something I just... No, we've been making this mix for ages and then we just decided David can have the soaking stuff on his channel and I have the sprouting stuff on mine. So yeah, check out the Parrot Teacher. He has a whole video on soaking seeds of birds. There's loads of different ones that you can add in there because uh, we do like a soaking mix. We like a sprouting mix and we just kind of mix it up as well. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different options. <laughs> uh, Scored 94 is, is on it, letting people know about your video. Um have you watched that video, Mr. Oh, Ting? No, Mr. Ting, have your, you watched that video? Your guess is as good as mine. Check your watch history. <laughs> um, you should watch it. Uh, but I think you've already you've shared our recipe a few times in Discord, so you probably know what's in it anyway. I've um, had some quite good videos recently, I think. Like, the they've been all right, about, I guess. The video about, um, <laughs> what's it called? Um, free up for environments. That was fun to do. There's, there's been a lot of... Can I have pickles for a second? Yeah, I'm going to wrap things up. She's furious that I've taken her out of the, the warm place. Can we have a cuddle, maybe? Just while... Um, <laughs> he's not a side character. He's my he's my partner in crime. I couldn't possibly do it all without him. <laughs> um, he's not an NPC. <laughs> it's like that Korean guy on um, TikTok. He just just hands people dollars oh, a mystery gift. Uh, do you guys me. watch TikTok? Um, one dollar on mystery gift. That's, we watch I, that. I really one. like him. I don't even see his name. Just just Drake, please come out yeah. yeah, Drake, please come out. One one dollar on mystery gift. Um, uh, part, part two score. I don't well, think I've got really. I've got a video on stuff. soaking nuts. So that's kind of part two, even though I did it first. Um, where are you going? I want people to see you. You're so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, right. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's wrap things up. Pickles is like I don't want to be with you. I want, I want snacks. Should we, should we give you some snacks? Are the snacks still here. The snacks have gone. David's moved the snacks. Terrible. Right. Let's wrap things up. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Thank you for all the generosity of. People, green cheeks do not no, need grit. No, no, no grit. grit, no grit, no grit. <laughs> Can't say enough, no grit. Um, thank you to everybody who joined. Thank you to the people who are so generous in gifting like, everybody's <laughs> memberships. 
uh, wow. Um, yeah, that's really cool. So I'm really excited to see a lot of you over on Discord. Again, if you continue your membership, you can stay. Otherwise, you'll have it for the month and you can uh, make the most of that and enjoy connecting with people. And hopefully you'll, you'll want to stay with us. It's a really fun place to be. Um, thank you to Patreon backers and YouTube channel members for being here again, as per usual, and all of our regulars and newbies. Really appreciate all of you for joining us for the Chaotic live stream. I'm now going to go and cook a pasta bake. Uh, the birdies are going to have some calm and relaxed time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming today. And again, thank you for everyone who's super generous to me as well. It's very, very kind of you. Do we go live every month? Yes, we do. David is normally the first weekend of the month and I'm normally the third. Uh, but we always pop up on um, our community tabs and on Instagram as well when we are going live. So yes, it was super chaotic today. I hope you guys could cope with that because I'm, I'm hanging on by the thread. But Anyway, let's go now. Thank you so much, guys. Take care and see you later.